The madness of March has begun. Who will rise through the ranks and come out victorious? I'm referring, of course, to the exciting, nail-biting challenge of amateur astronomy. Sky-watching enthusiasts across the Northern Hemisphere are prepping their telescopes for this year's Messier Marathon, where they try to find as many of the 110 Messier objects as they can in just one night. To celebrate, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope is releasing 12 new images of Messier objects. Charles Messier was a French astronomer in the 1700s and early 1800s. He was interested in discovering comets, but it took time to determine which fuzzy features in the sky were new moving objects and which were permanent and stationary. So Messier compiled a list of the permanent features to make it easier to identify the new comets. This list, now known as the Messier Catalog, includes star clusters, nebulas, and galaxies, and it's popular with amateur astronomers because they're all relatively bright and findable with a backyard telescope. There are a few weeks from mid-March to early April when it's possible for people in the Northern Hemisphere to observe all 110 Messier objects in one night. This is best done close to the time of a new moon, which in 2018 is March 17th. Many astronomy clubs across the globe organize Messier marathons around this time, and only people with the most skill, endurance, willpower, good luck, and darkest skies manage to find all 110 objects before the sun rises. The Hubble Space Telescope has plenty of skill and the darkest sky possible, but it doesn't have the agility to point toward 110 objects in different parts of the sky within 12 hours. Over the years, though, Hubble has provided fantastic zoomed-in images of most of the Messier catalog. These 12 new images were recently processed from existing Hubble data and compiled into Hubble's gallery of Messier objects to share the excitement of stargazing and to let amateur astronomers compare their views to those of Hubble. The 12 new images include six spiral galaxies, four elliptical galaxies, and two globular clusters. M58 was one of the first galaxies recognized to have a spiral shape, and it's the most distant Messier object. M90 is one of the few galaxies to be moving toward our own Milky Way galaxy rather than away. Though Messier himself may have been disappointed that these objects weren't comets, each of them has a unique story to tell. Whether you use a space observatory like Hubble, a small telescope on the ground, binoculars, or just your own eyes, there are always interesting things to look at in the night sky.